What's going on everybody? So today, as you can already tell, we are going to make chicken alfredo. So we are going to need some whole oregano, some parsley flakes, onion powder, garlic powder, Creole seasoning, some minced garlic, a stick of butter, I already cut up some bell peppers and onions, and then I have four chicken breasts right here cut up. So let's get started about a medium heat right here, and then we'll toss in this stick of butter. While that butter is melting down, we're going to go ahead and season our chicken. I forgot to mention these noodles right here. Uh, I like to use bow ties, but uh, I don't remember what these are called. Uh, I think it starts with an S, not spaghetti noodles. But uh, anyway, these are just fine. These are what I had in the cabinet, and these are what I'm going to use. I'm going to cook these off camera. You know how to boil noodles, so ain't no sense in showing you that. So, I'm going to take a little bit of Zataran. Try to give you all a... Just going to cover the meat. Right when I cover the top of the meat, I'm good. Same with the garlic and onion. You gotta listen for the spirits of your ancestors to tell you that's enough, child. All right, so we got the parsley flakes. Look at that. Nothing comes out. Dang it. That's right. It's been there this whole time, you didn't even know about it. Just pinch that little top right there and just twist. Just trying to get a little coat in there. It's kind of what I'm looking for right there. And I'm going to do the same thing with the whole oregano. This comes out a little faster, so be careful. Got the seasoning in there. I'll just mix it up. Looks like our stick of butter is almost there. Get all that meat covered up real good in that seasoning. Just set her off. I'm making a video so the wind's gonna start picking up. So now that our stick of butter is just about fully melted, bam. In goes the onion and bell pepper and we are going to saute that up until the onions are just about transparent and then we're going to add our garlic and while that's going i will be right back i feel completely silly i forgot you are also gonna need two of these. This is the uh, classic Alfredo pasta sauce from Great Value at Walmart. Uh, I'm showing you how to cook it out of a jar. I'm gonna make a later video of how to make it from scratch. But uh, the reason I'm doing it out of the jar, it's fast, it's easy, it's convenient. And uh, the first time I ever tried to make this, I just thought that I'd cook my chicken I do my vegetables, whatever, and pour it in there, and it tastes good. And it was just awful. So the way I'm showing you is going to be delicious. Highly recommended video by a couple friends of mine. So I'm about to that transparent area, and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and add in my minced garlic. 
I'm going to give me a heaping spoonful. I love garlic. I'll let that saute for a minute and then uh, when I come back we'll add in our seasoned chicken. Alright, so that sauteed up pretty good. So now I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the pot and then we'll go to the chicken. That's what you're looking for right there. Okay, so now let's add our chicken. And the reason I like to season my chicken before I put it in is because I feel like that seasoning gets into the meat a lot better uh, than if you just cook the chicken and then season your whole meal later on. Then it's kind of like seasoning on top of your food and I'm not really into that. I just mix this all around and then let the chicken cook and I know some of you are probably going to ask, how do you know your chicken's cooked? Well, I'll find, I'll find me a piece and I'll put that spatula on it and I'll just give it light pressure. And if it splits apart, I know my chicken's cooked. But don't worry about, don't worry about that too much. If it's not fully cooked, remember it's still going to be cooking with the Alfredo sauce on the inside. But it doesn't look like my chicken's cooked all the way. Must have did something wrong. I'm just kidding. This is my baby girl. This is Trump. She's an Americana and she lays blue eggs, which are the prettiest and most delicious eggs on earth. I would never eat her. Okay, so the chicken is about done and uh, I am about to take one of these little pieces and I'm going to push on it. Yep. It breaks apart real easy. And I'll give y'all a look-see inside the pot to see what you're kind of looking for. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the Alfredo sauce in there and I'm going to put a little bit of water in each canister at on each jar and shake it up and get the rest of it out. When I say a little bit of water, I mean like about an ounce, something like that. So that goes in. And look at all that that's left in there. We want to get that out. And that goes in. Let me go get a bottle of water. I said about an ounce. Uh, it's kind of a liar. I think these bottles are 16 ounces, if I'm not mistaken. 16.9 so I guess that's like four ounces yeah about four ounces in each take them up real good pour the rest out pretty That's pretty cleaned out right there. 
what we're looking for. Now let's stir all this in real good. All right. Now we can take our lid, put it on this pretty good little gap right there. And then uh, I got it on a pretty high heat right now. I'm gonna let it get up to a simmer and then I'm gonna lower the heat and let it simmer for a while. I'm gonna go check on them noodles and I'll be right. All right so I got it up to a good little simmer doing this little thing, popping them little bubbles everywhere. So I'm gonna put my little lid with just a little sliver. I'm gonna let that roll for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna add my noodles and I'm gonna stir that in there. And I'm gonna let that roll for another five to 10 minutes. Then I got the finishing touches that's gonna make your meal that much better. Keep watching. All right. So we are at that point. Let's open this up, give her a good little stir, find out what we got here. Yeah, that's nice. So, let's drop our noodles. Jesus, is that something? Mix them up, get them up in there. I guess I should have fluffed them a little bit first. Should be all right. When I say fluff them, I mean the pot that you cooked them in. You can uh, take them and put the strainer over the top and shake them and get them fluffed up first. But they're good like this. It breaks up just fine. And now we are going to let that simmer for another about five minutes and then the finishing touches that's going to make your chicken alfredo stand out from the rest is coming up after these messages from our sponsors i'm just kidding we don't have any sponsors all right guys so we're at the final stage so i'm going to use a throwaway pan uh i got some uh, shredded mexican four cheese it really doesn't matter uh, what kind of cheese you use here, but I would rather use white mozzarella, uh, you know, because it's a white dish. It's really good. So I'm going to turn my flame off here. Give it a good stir. If you're cooking over uh, a gas grill, try not to scrape the bottom too much because if some of the noodles kind of burnt to the bottom a little bit, you don't want them burnt noodles getting in there. But uh, I didn't burn any. I'm just kind of like giving you a little bit of advice right there. All right. So, up we go. And into the pan. Oh, All right, so this is the part that's going to take your chicken alfredo over the top against anybody else. Now, we're going to take this cheese and we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to cover this top and then we're going to stick it in there just until the cheese melts. And one important thing to have with you is some parmesan cheese shredded parmesan uh that cheese does matter uh it gives it that oh yeah taste you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees instead of cheese uh melt right on what most chefs believe the most important part 
delivery, what it looks like. I don't really think that. I think, what the heck that tastes like. But, if you're about delivery, here is the shredded Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna give it a little sprinkle around the top. And then the parsley flakes. I don't wanna hit it too much. I mean, if you ask me, that's a pretty meal right there. So, give it a taste. Just like I thought, on point. So, if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Try these recipes out. Tell me how they work for you. Uh, leave, drop a comment. Hit a like. Hit the bell notification. All that YouTube stuff, you know? So, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll catch you next time.